Today, we're diving into SFTPGO, a secure, free-to-use, and highly versatile FTP system. SFTPGO is an event-driven file transfer solution that supports multiple protocols, including SFTP, SCP, FTPS, WebDAV, and HTTPS. It's a fully featured, customizable SFTP server with a web-based UI for easy management. And it doesn't stop there. SFTP Go can connect to cloud storage like Amazon S3, Google Cloud, Azure Blob, and more. SFTP Go offers powerful features, multiple storage options, configure local directories or cloud drives per user, web admin and web client UI, easily create and manage users, folders, and permissions, advanced authentication, supports public key, password, certificates, multi-factor authentication, and more. Virtual permissions, set permissions per user or directory, disk quota and bandwidth control, manage storage and speed effectively. You can use SFTP Joe as a SaaS plan with an affordable monthly fee or host it on your own server. It's designed to run on everything from small embedded devices to large Kubernetes clusters and supports Linux, Windows, Mac OS, FreeBSD, and other BSD variants. Today, we'll install SFTPGO on a true NAS scale server using a true NAS dataset for storage. Let's dive into the architecture and start the setup. Stay tuned as we set up this powerful and secure file transfer system. First, log in to your true NAS scale server. Here, we will create a dataset first for our SFTPGO application. While creating the dataset, please make sure you choose the share type as app to get the proper ACL permission. You can configure data quota, compression, and encryption as per your needs. Now save the dataset, and you can see our SFTPGO dataset is ready to host the application. Next, go to the Apps section, search for the SFTPGO application, and hit Install. Follow the installation wizard and choose the options you need. In this demo, I am only using the web UI port, but you can configure other ports and services if needed. Now choose the storage for the application and the data. We have chosen the system dataset for the application and the dedicated dataset we created earlier for the data. Once everything is configured, hit install. The installation will take a couple of minutes as it deploys a Docker container for this application. It will pull the image and auto install it for you. Now, we are ready for the web admin setup for this SFTPGO application. For the first time, you need to set your admin username and password and sign in. Now, we are in the SFTPGO admin settings in my browser. On the left-hand menu, you can access various options like user and group creation, virtual folder creation, event settings, IP configuration, and server management to tweak the settings and control the system as per your needs. First, we will create users to get this system active. In the user creation section, you can set the public key and TLS encryption for user data if needed. In the file access system, you can choose a local disk or a cloud drive like S3 or S3 compatible storage such as MinIO. For this demo, we will set it to local for user data storage. You have other options like user status and expiration, password strength and length management. You have complete control of user files with per directory permissions and name parameter wise restrictions. You can also enable two factor authentication for user accounts. Additionally, you can manage data quotas maximum and minimum upload sizes and limits. 
Using the same steps, we will create two users to test this FTP system. Now, to open the client-side web page, you need to delete the admin section from the URL and hit enter. This takes you to the user portal, where you can upload and download files and folders. Next, we upload some files and create folders. You can see that I am able to access, create and upload files and folders in this FTP system. You can even switch the UI to dark mode if needed. This tool has several other features and settings, but this video focuses on basic installation and access. If you want to learn more details about this FTP system, let us know in the comments and we'll try to create another video on it. This is a very powerful and secure FTP system that you can host on your NAS server and use anywhere on the go. That's all for now. Thanks for spending your time with us. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and follow us for regular tech updates. Till then, happy installation with Installer Guru.